Hey everybody, it's Brett here with The Tuning School, and on this Tech Tuesday, I'm gonna show you how to do a gear and tire change on a Ford or a Dodge without using additional credits. So if you're using the latest version of HP Tuner Scanner, which is 4.0, then you have the ability to actually change the gear and tire size on a Ford or a Dodge without actually licensing the file. You can do it through the VCM scanner rather than through the VCM editor. This is awesome because there's no additional charge to change the gear and tire size on these vehicles. This is particularly helpful if you drive a Jeep because it applies to Jeeps as well. And every good Jeep guy knows the first thing you change is your gear and tire size. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into how to do that inside the VCM scanner. So the first thing you're gonna need to know is the overall height of your wheel and tire in inches. Now that's pretty easy for what we're working with today, which is these JMS Avenger race wheels and these Hooser Slicks because stamped on the Hooser Slicks is 28 inches. It actually says it right on the tire. But if you're at home, it's probably gonna say something like 275, 60, 15 or somewhere along those lines. And you have to transfer that into overall tire height to inches. The good news is there's a unit conversion inside the scanner here that can help you do that. If you go to tools and then unit conversion, you have an area here where you can actually enter your tire size. So for example, we could do 275, 60, 15, and that's gonna give us an overall tire height of 28 inches. So now that we know that information, we can actually go modify the settings from here. So we're gonna close this down, and the first thing that you need to do is actually connect to the vehicle that you're trying to work to. So you're gonna be plugged in via the USB cable, and you're gonna click this icon right here to connect to the vehicle. So it's gonna take a couple seconds, find all of the parameters for the vehicle. Once it does, you can come up here to the Vehicle Controls and Special Functions button. And once you're inside of here, you can go to Speedometer. Now under Speedometer, you'll see that there's a gear slash tire adjustment. We can click on that. And the first thing that we need to know is what the gear ratio is. Now, in our case today, we're not changing the gears, so the gear ratio is still two, uh, 262s. So we're gonna put that number in there. So if you don't change your gear ratio, you have to put the same number in this box and click OK. Next, we're looking at the tire height. So the tire height that we have now with the wheels and tires we have is 28.7 inches. And we're gonna go to just 28 inches because we're actually gonna be going down a little bit. We're gonna click OK. At this point, our gear and tire change has been successful and it leaves an additional note in here that says if you have a Dodge five-speed transmission that you need to perform a special uh, initiative procedure, which is going to be located in here if you happen to have this transmission. This isn't gonna to apply to your Fords. It's only gonna be on Dodges with five speeds. So you're gonna click OK. And at this point, you're done. You've completely recalibrated your tune files so the speedometer and the transmission settings are all gonna be correct for this wheel and tire combo. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helps you recalibrate that speedometer and that transmission tune. For more high performance tuning knowledge, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our social media pages. As always, stay tuned. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also check out our other videos. And if you're interested in any tuning products, check out our website.